Jake Gyllenhaal got a little ripped for his new movie Southpaw. 30 pounds of muscle ripped, to be specific. Hey guys, I'm Christina Thompson for 8012. It got us thinking about the biggest body transformation payoffs in movie history, so we came up with a four category scoring system. How much weight was lost or gained by body percentage graded on a curve? Did it earn an Oscar win or nomination? How the movie was received? And how well it did at the box office? Each one worth up to 25 points. We added a multiplier to account for female weight versus male and took per theater box office averages measured against Avatar's all-time best number. Then graded it all on our scale. Best score is 100. Here's the list. Honorable mentions go to Natalie Portman and Tom Hanks, who both just missed the cut, and Christian Bale, who just never cares about his body. At number three, Matthew McConaughey and Dallas Buyers Club. The 24 grand per theater box office haul was nothing. Can't deny the 25 points for a best actor, though. 22 more points for a 25.8% body weight loss, and another 21 plus for critic and fan reception equals a total score of 71.52. At number two, if Charlize didn't win Best Actress for monstering herself up, somebody belonged in jail. Box office earned a low four and a half points, but she got more than 19 points for widespread adulation. She nailed the second highest score of the dozen movies we tested for transformation, going up 22% in female body weight with a 30 pound gain. Total points, 72.58. And our number one, don't go down for nobody. Robert De Niro in Raging Bull scored perfect 25s for a Best Actor win and 37.5% body weight increase. Almost eight more points for box office when adjusted for inflation. And a gaudy 22.63 for one of the most beloved movies of all time. Final score, 80.32. Sorry, Jill and Hall, you're punching out of your weight class on this one. Catch you later on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. To see more of us, subscribe to our channels, like our videos, and make sure to leave a comment. Now, I'm not telling you guys what to say, but if you wanted to go with a little hashtag Susanna Rocks, I'd be totally fine with that.